this video i'm going to explain the exit slip the problem is there is a box which is four kilogram at location a you want to move it to location b and the distance between location a and b is 10 meters all right so you want to find the velocity what would be the velocity well, you know a few things you apply 50 newton at the direction of the applied force and there is some friction force and uh, you want to find out first the network and then you want to find out the connection between work and uh, and energy and then finally you're going to use that connection to find the velocity first thing first first find the work done by all component of the force so there are as you know four component of the force so the relationship between f tension and fd is zero degree so that means the cosine zero degree that means how much work done by ft that means the ft is 50 50 times the displacement is 10 so the 10 50 times 10 is 500 so this component of the force do wt is equal to ft uh, d uh, cosine zero degree which is uh, 50 times 10 times uh, 1 which is 500 joule now let, let's do this one this one the uh, the the relationship between fg and d is the 90 degree so fg is this direction and d is this direction so this is d this is fg so that means this is 90 degree that means the gravity do no work on the box so zero zero now we're going to do fn so this is uh, this is uh, wg this is wn so let's do the wn wn would be how much wn would be uh, f and d cosine again it's 90 degree y 90 degree this is the force vector fn and this is the displacement vector and there is what do you call 90 degree between them so cosine 90 degree so normal force do zero work on the box now we're going to do the friction force so the friction force is this direction this is f friction and the displacement is this direction 180 degree between these two so you're going to write work done by friction is f f d cosine 180 that means negative 300 joule so total work done the network work net is uh, 500 plus 0 plus 0 plus negative 300 is 200 joule now i'm going to prove the work energy theorem the work energy theorem is w is equal to f d cosine theta in this case theta is theta is zero degree so work is fd so f is equal to ma so work is equal to mad so what is ad well let's make a connection with sir isaac newton uh, um, uh, dynamics so vf squared is equal to vi squared plus 280 this is one of the kinematics formula so ad is equal to vf squared minus va squared over 2 so we're going to replace this one by that so w is equal to m vf squared minus va squared over 2 so w is equal to half m vf squared minus half m vi squared so w is equal to half mv squared is uh, half mv squared is kinetic energy so kinetic energy final minus kinetic energy initial so what is the kinetic energy initial of the box the kinetic energy initial of the box the box was at rest at the in the beginning so velocity is zero so at the rest the velocity is zero so kinetic energy final this is rest so what is the kinetic energy final kinetic energy final is this one so you're going to just copy and paste this one so copy and paste this one okay good so what does that mean the work net work net is 200 joule is equal to half m is equal to 4 kilogram and bf squared all right so 2 um, goes to 4 twice and if you divide both sides by 100 you get 100 joule is equal to vf squared and there is a kilogram so j is equal to newton dot joule what does that mean newton is meter uh, Newton is kilogram meter per second square and joule is meter. So J is equal to 
j is equal to j is equal to kilogram meter square over second square so 100 kilogram meter square over second square is equal to kilogram v square so kilogram kilogram cancel so v square is 100 meter square second square so you square both sides so you square root and square is inverse operation so v is square root and it, and square is inverse operation 10 meter per second so the box velocity is constant it is 10 meter per second it is 10 meter per second Thank you for watching. bari science lab to fall in love with math and science especially programming